What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today, we're going to be checking out the Weston Protrax 5. So it's going to be a hitch-mounted step with an anti-rattle built in. So this is going to be able to help you reach those items that are a little difficult sometimes. Instead of climbing up on your bumper and all that, you can just hop up here and grab your cooler. Let's check it out. Right away, I want to go over how it feels to be on it because if it's a step, you want to use it all the time and be sure-footed about it. So I can say just stepping on there, it's fine and pretty sturdy, but when you go to shift your weight, it does move into hitch a little bit. It's got that anti-rattle bolt at the bottom, and we tightened up pretty good, but it didn't seem like it was gonna help that side-to-side -side movement. I think it's just because it's a longer step than some of them, so there's more on the sides than normal. Sometimes it's like a concentrated, just one small piece, so there's not that much shifting, but because this one is like a tube step design, it's gonna shift a little bit. So just be prepared when you step up there that it will move, and then your second foot, it won't move as much. Looking down here at the anti-rattle device, this is the piece that's added onto the step. So you have three points that where you can run this bolt in and it helps stabilize the step. And you have three holes in the shank here to help line that up too. So just to try something different, I use this one here to line up with the lip of the hitch, thinking that maybe there'd be more bolt pushing up against the hitch, helping stabilize it. And it didn't really make much of a difference. It still goes back and forth and don't over tighten it either because as you start to tighten that bolt it just kind of walks across the hitch and scars that up so make sure it just gets nice and tension puts a little pressure on there and then don't torque it down anymore you can see as i tighten it down it starts to walk and what i mean by that it's like shifts over to the side so that's why i'm going to stop tightening it down and that's going to be as much anti-rattle as we get now it sounds like we were kind of trashing the anti-rattle bolt but it does help out. So it doesn't, might not help out as much when my whole body weight's on there and I'm shifting back and forth. It's gonna cause it to move a little bit, but it is gonna help you out when you're going on the road. You can see me trying to shake. I can shake a little bit, but the road travel, it's not gonna move or vibrate. So you're not gonna hear it in the hitch. And that's also pretty helpful. One of the nice things with this being made by Weston is that Weston also makes rounded Nerf bars for the side of your vehicle. And this is what they kind of look like. So it's matching that aesthetic. So I like that part that if you want to keep it matching around your vehicle, you can, because some of the other hitch mounted steps out there are just like a flat piece of metal, which there's not a whole lot to that. And if you leave it on there all the time, it might not look the best. Maybe you want it to match your vehicle and you can get it to do that. They also make an HDX step as well that matches the HDX running boards on the side of the vehicle too. So you look into that, if that's the style you have, if you want to keep everything matching, it's going to look nice. Let's talk about the grip on the step here. We're going to measure it out. Looks like it's going to be four and a quarter inches wide and then let's go length side to side it's gonna be about 14 inches so that's how much grip you have to step on here so that's kind of bigger than some of the other steps out there although it's not too aggressive this is just kind of a plastic so i think if you hopped up there with muddy boots or it was raining it could still be a little slick because it's not super aggressive but it's still something to grip onto your shoes this portion of the step here is going to be stainless steel so it's going to be resistant to corrosion and rust, so that's nice, especially if you want to leave it on here all the time. You have to worry about it being exposed to the elements. Along with leaving it here all the time, it does not come with a pin and clip. You'll have to get one of those separately, so I recommend getting an e-trailer hitch pin lock. That way, you can put that in there and lock the step to your hitch, and nobody can mess with it when you're not around. Overall, I think it's a nice thing to have in your hitch, especially when you got a cargo carrier and you throw things on the roof. It's far easier to step up on that and have sure footing to get your hands up there and get whatever you need rather than trying to like stand on one leg on the bumper or try and hold on to something here on the back while you're trying to reach. This really helps you with that. Now, if you tow a lot and you're using ball mounts a lot, it might not be as useful for you because you're gonna have to swap out that accessory constantly. So maybe you go with the channel mounted ball mount with the step on top from Bulletproof, and that might be the better solution for you. But for me, I think it's gonna work. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and hope this helped.